What's up, everybody? How's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel Elevate Performance, coming at you live today. I'm going to be talking about the concept of knowing your limits and when to put on the brakes. Uh, and also, I just realized I didn't turn on my mic. So the quality, sound quality, it's going to be kind of ass. So just prepare for some ass sound quality. That's how we like to open this. <laughs> um, but uh, knowing your limits. Uh, I did a post on this earlier today, but I just want to I talk about it and go in a little bit more depth about why it's important to know when to, you know, hit the gas and speed things and like, like go all in and, and keep pushing yourself or when, you know, it's wise to, you know, maybe pump the brakes a little bit to slow down, to, you know, kind of chill out, like let yourself kind of recover or recuperate from whatever you might be going through at that time, because that's important. Um, being able to do that and, and being able to recognize when you should or shouldn't, you know, go like go harder or like kind of tone it down a little bit is important for your fitness journey and making it into something sustainable for you long term um as you guys are tuning in though let me know how your day is going drop some emojis in the chat give this video a like let me know that you're here let me know that you're watching this um but yeah who here has ever uh felt like they have like pushed themselves too hard and they ended up you know making things worse or burn themselves out or you know got hurt because of it um, how many felt like, you know, they, you know, could have pushed themselves a little bit further, but then they didn't. And so they were like, they kind of felt like they, you know, ha they wasted a day or two because they, you know, uh, didn't push themselves hard enough. So, you know, this kind of like balancing act, this tightrope that we're walking at times um, is something that a lot of people struggle with learning how to do and learning how to kind of like figure out for themselves on a daily basis, on a weekly basis when it comes to their fitness journey. Um, because at the end of the day, this concept of you know knowing when to do that, knowing your limits, knowing when to push harder, when to take it, take a step back, um, it all comes down to like this concept of self-regulation, um, or like that's at least what I like to call it. Um, and so self-regulation is you know having that like um, ability or that skill, right? That skill because everything's a habit, everything's a skill, um, something that can be learned um, and improved upon um, or developed is you know is what it is. It's self-regulation. It's being able to, you know, know when to do that. And, and, try, and Laura saying, trying to find that balance is hard. It is hard. Um, and I'm going to be honest, before we really kind of dive into this, like, you know, you know, I don't think that there's ever a perfect balance that somebody can find. Like, I don't think that there is a true, like, harmony that you can reach uh, in life where you're perfect at every single thing being balanced because life is chaos, right? Like life is just like life is chaos. It's full of chaos. Um, shit's always going to pop up. That's going to try and disrupt that equilibrium that we're all always trying to like find in our lives and in our day to day. And so, you know, if you're, you know, if, if that's happening, you know, that's, that's like, that's the goal, right? When we're self-regulating, we're always trying to have that balance. We're trying to figure out if we should push harder or take a step back, or we're always trying to like, you know, figure balance our family life with our hobbies, with our health, with our wealth, with our relationships. We're, there's, we're always trying to balance these things that are going on in our lives. And, you know, we're always leaning towards more towards one or the other, probably. Right. Like, like, you know, I'm not perfect at it either. Like no, none of us are perfect at it um, where we're in perfect harmony and synchronization with our goals and our work life and our family life and things like that there's always this give and take there's always this balance of give and take towards these different parts of our lives um and you know for me right like sometimes i probably am not as balanced with you know especially more like it's way better now but you know back this past fall and this past winter i was way out of alignment and way too like not so balanced with my work side of things, right? With my work side of things, you know, I was way too um, off balance with my work um, versus my family or relationship or um, even honestly, like my health side of things, like it wasn't horrible, but it definitely wasn't as balanced as it is now. Um, and so that self-regulation, that having that ability to like check like check yourself basically uh is important um and so the same thing applies to your fitness and and your nutrition and things like that because like it's 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 stupid fucking hard like if anybody tells you 
it's so easy. You just got to follow these three steps and your life's going to be perfect. They're like either so far, they're, they're, they're either trying to sell you some shit or they're just ignorant to the facts of life. And maybe they just live a very, very um, lavish life where they don't have to like, you know, worry about that shit. Who knows? Um, but, um, you know, take it from me and say, it's not that easy, right? It's not that easy at times. Balance is hard. Finding that balance between these, all these things going on in our lives is hard. And so self-regulation and working on that skill to like, you know, whenever you start going a little bit too far one way, be like, oh, like, you know, I need to take a step back or going a little bit to where you're pushing yourself a little bit too hard with your fitness goals. Um, you know, where, you know, are you pushing yourself too hard? Like, so basically kind of like what I want to talk about is like, you know, it comes down to time and experience. That's what I will say is that it comes down to time and experience. Um, and just because you're experienced and good at self-regulating yourself with one thing doesn't mean you're going to be good at self-regulating with your fitness or your nutrition, right? It doesn't mean you're going to be good at self-regulating with your mindset. It does, just because you're good at regulating, you know, with your work or your job or something that you're doing right now and be able to like, you know, take a step back doesn't mean it uh, directly applies. You're probably good at it and you just need to like try to learn how to bridge that gap between those two things that you're doing. But just because you're good at it in one in one area of life doesn't mean you're going to be good at it in another area of life unless you've worked on it because it's a habit and it's a skill. And so, you know, what you need to ask yourself during these times when you're like, you know, should I pump the pump the brakes or hit the gas? What I like to ask myself is, you know, <laughs> am I being a wimp right now? Like, am I being kind of like a little bitch right now? Like, just to be honest, like, am I being like, you know, kind of a chump and I'm like, and I'm selling myself short? Or am I actually like dealing with like a very like real like like issue like is it something that i'm like struggling with that's serious right is it something am i am i getting close to burnout am i getting close to having like a mental breakdown um you know am i getting close to like you know am i dealing with like a physical injury or an illness that's like you know like actually like fucking me up like if like if we can just put it bluntly like am i being a little bitch or a wimp or is this something serious that's like potentially going to fuck me up or set me back you know, even further if I don't take care of it at this time. Um, and, 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 um, um, oh, what's the word on top of it? Basically, I, I can't think of the word, but, um, that sort of thing, right? Like, am I doing that? Like, is, is it one or the other? It's one of those two things. Um, you know, am I being a wimp and I'm not pushing myself hard enough? Am I not hitting the brick or am I not hitting the gas pedal because I'm being a wimp or, um, am I not, uh, doing it because I'm getting close to like, you know, screwing myself up, um, and maybe setting myself back because I am pushing it too hard. And I do need to like, you know, hit the brakes a little bit, um, and come back to earth a little bit and kind of like, you know, chill the fuck out while I'm trying to find myself again, kind of thing. And so this is something you guys need to ask yourselves, right? Like, as if you, and, and this is why, like, like if you go so fucking hard all the time, and you burn yourself out and you like completely fall apart and you can't man you can't even like you know stand to do like some of your workouts your nutrition or whatever that may be right if you push yourself too hard like that and then you then you don't do anything for months on end you have this like chronic stopping and starting kind of issue right well you're no further along than you were than before you started so like you know that's 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 one of the main reasons why you need to like be important like you need to like be careful about that shit and not push yourself too hard, um, you know, like physically or mentally, or maybe you're sick and like, you're just going to make yourself sicker and you're going to prolong how long you're sick for because you're not, you know, pumping the brakes a little bit and taking a rest day or something like that or whatever it may be. Um, or are you, you know, slowing your progress down because you don't like, you had a bad day at work or you, you know, your kids are being kind of like a bunch of turds right now or something like that. And it's like, you know, stressing you out and like, and you're like, ah, or, or was it due to poor planning? And now you're at the end of the day and you're tired because you did, you went through your whole day and you didn't do your workout when you're supposed to do it. And so now you're, you know, feeling like, like shit at the end of the day, cause you're tired. And that's why you skipped it. Right? Like, are you being kind of a wimp or like a little bitch or kind of like a sheep or whatever, whatever you want to call it? Or is there something actually seriously going on that's like messing you up, like physically, mentally, um, emotionally, whatever it may be. So, you know, recognizing that and being able to rep and being able to recognize that that's super fucking important going forward for your fitness journey um, and for your nutrition journey, for your weight loss journey. And so, you know, and I want to say this and I want to preface this like, guys, 
maintenance periods are okay. Maintenance periods, maintenance phases are okay. They're good for you in a lot of ways. They are important. They're, they're a smart thing to have um, and incorporate as long as you're planning to do it, right? Like as long as it's like intentional, um, you know, maintenance phases are fine. Like don't feel bad about, you know, taking your foot off the bre- off, off, the, off the gas a little bit. If you're like, if your car is about to fucking explode, right? Don't don't feel bad about um, hitting the gas though either, um, and and going you know full speed. If you you know feel like you know like you're you have been kind of slacking a little bit and it hasn't been due to something like you know more serious. And so um, you know maintenance though is an important phase of things like taking a break, like taking a break to maintain and sustain. That's a win in a lot of ways. And a lot of people don't recognize that. A lot of times, like, whenever people go off on trips or vacations or they go, like, to a bachelor party or or they had a wedding or some other, you know, like, fun time or, like, a vacation, and, and they come back and they're like, like, oh, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't, you know, I, I didn't get my, you know, I didn't get my workouts in like I thought I did. I only got, like, four out of, a, out of five done. Um, you know, I'm, I feel bad about that. Like, you know why like you know like you didn't gain any weight on your vacation or maybe you only gained a pound or whatever it's like it's like you got to go enjoy yourself and like that was like your plan right to like go and enjoy yourself and have a good time like yeah you can make progress during your vacation or things like that you can like as long as you're being attentive to like your goals and things like that but you know why is maintaining such a bad thing in that situation like you didn't gain it like you didn't gain like you know 10 pounds over over that week right like you 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 maintain you still you know got some sort of like like maintenance is a win in a lot of senses a lot of people don't view it that way because we're always just like a very like you know either i'm making progress towards my goal or i'm getting further away and i suck and i and things and blah 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 blah, blah. and so you know normalizing maintenance phases and normalizing like like that self-regulation being able to be like okay like you know i'm gonna take a couple days off it's like if i don't like i'm gonna like i'm gonna be like puking blood up the next day like that kind of like you need to like you know no one to regulate like this past weekend you know i didn't work out the whole weekend i worked out i had a horrible like half-ass workout on friday morning because i was like kind of fell off I, my suspicions were right and like in the evening i started feeling like crap I full on took Saturday off from working out and work out. I didn't do anything. I went on a little walk um, with my family, and then set, and then Sunday I didn't work out either because again, felt like my body was like n- not gonna handle it well. And I was and if I and I'm glad I did because I felt good today and I got a good workout in today. And if I hadn't done that, I probably would have been uh, you know out of commission for another couple days. And so because I was able to like self-regulate and recognize that I shouldn't go to the fucking gym and work out for, you know, you know, not only just because, you know, it's kind of a jerk move to go whenever you're like, you know, sick, but it's also, you know, like, you know, because I was able to regulate that and I was able to like, you know, um, you know, stop myself from, you know, making things worse and taking that much needed maintenance phase or rest days and things like that you know now i'm back in action and i'm able to get back on the wagon that much quicker because of it and so you know be able to do this and like kind of recognizing that for yourself um is really important because otherwise because because then you're going to be able to optimize your progress and you're not going to be always starting or stopping or pushing yourself until you completely burn out and crash and burn and then you're done for a couple of weeks or months or whatever it may be or you know also not you know not being kind of too wimpy and missing out on potential workouts or days that you could have made progress on um that you know you just didn't because you you know didn't feel like it or whatever it may have been right so you know it's it is a delicate balance but it's one of those things that time practice um making an effort towards it you know day in day out um you know being consistent with it that's where it comes into play. That that it, it 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 does come with time. It does come with practice. But you're never gonna get fucking better at it unless you try, right? You're never gonna get better at it unless you start making an effort towards doing it. But you know, this is why it's important. Um, and so maintenance, like at the end of the day, like don't like don't feel bad if you have to take a day or two off to maintain, right? Not to go completely off the rails, but to maintain, in order to uh, preventatively. Um, you know, make sure that you're going to be back in action even better than before, um, you know, the following day or two type of thing. So um, that's all I want to talk about today is just, you know, knowing when and having that level of self-regulation um, is important. And a lot of it comes down to your mindset. A lot of it comes down to recognizing patterns, um, you know, 
of of of, of you know kind of, and I, I even I think I said it in my post like like you know you got to sometimes you got to kind of go through the fire to learn how to not get burned the next time that you go through it or you're getting close to you know you're starting to feel that heat a little bit um you know because you're pushing it a little too hard um and so you know a lot of it comes down to just like life experience and and getting good at knowing yourself and getting good at like you know learning about you uh and how you respond to certain things and you know am i getting a little bit am i pushing myself a little bit too hard or am i just kind of being uh, a little wimpy today kind of thing so other than that though Hope you guys got value from this. Hope that this makes sense. Um, hope that the next time that, you know, one of these situations happens to you, you're able to like, you know, be like, am I actually like, you know, you know, feeling like I'm going to like crash and burn or am I, or do I think I can push it a little bit today and push myself today um, to, to, you know, reach new heights and what I didn't think was you know possible before, um, you know, think about it that way. So other than that though, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Uh, make sure to give this video a like so other people can get a chance to see it. Uh, leave a comment if you watched, um, if you're watching this later time, hashtag replay, let me know that you saw it. Um, other than that though, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Have a good Monday. Let's kick some ass for the rest of this week. And I will talk to you guys later.